Kia ora team, welcome back to the Black Jersey, it's your boy Max hosting the video today and it's going to be a season preview on the Hurricanes ahead of the 2022 Super Rugby Pacific season. Just remember to visit the website down the description, the Black Jersey official website is now live, it's presented to you by me and of course my team members including Vincent who is a tech leader on it all. So the Hurricanes, um, this season preview for them, um, it'll be a bit more doom and gloom in comparison to my other season previews. These guys came last on the table last year which they deserved after just what an awful season they had. Um, they've got quite a few transfers going on though so this could potentially go really really well or really really bad. <laughs> anyway, so firstly we'll start off with the props like normal as I've done in my other season previews. So Owen Franks has come on in back from Northampton in England. He is, however, ruled out for the season. So Pasi Lo Tossi from Bay of Plenty is going to come on in as his cover. Um, Tossi, I'm not sure how good the guy is because I'm a Hawks Bay fan, not a Bay of Plenty fan. Bay of Plenty weren't too good last year, but I'm going to give this guy the benefit of the doubt, and I'm excited to see how good he is. I want to see him debut and see what he can add to the team's scrum. Fraser Armstrong, on the other hand, has retired after a bit of a long spell with injury, so thank you to Fraser Armstrong for the services to New Zealand Rugby. With the hookers, um, Ricky Riccatelli has gone off to the Blues, and so James O'Reilly, after being a wider training squad member for several seasons in a row, finally finally has a full contract. I'm very happy for James O'Reilly because he's been working his butt off to get into the Hurricanes. He's clearly just not interested in playing for anybody else. Um, in the locks, Kane Leal Pepe, who played for Samoa internationally, has retired. So thank you to Kane for his services to Samoa Rugby. Um, Liam Mitchell, who I don't really think added much to the team, has gone over to Italy. Whereas uh, Dominic Bird, the former All Black, is returning from Racing 92 in Paris. Um, Dominic Bird has played for Wellington in the NPC in 2021 as well. So uh, I think it's good that Dominic Bird is sticking around at the same place rather than moving around the country like other players can do. Um, I think Dominic Bird's a very good player. I think he's going to be um, a great addition to the Hurricanes lineout. Um, Justin Sangster, who's come in from Bay of Plenty as well, has a really good story. Um, just a year ago, like he wasn't even a pro athlete or anything. He was a forklift driver or something. See the article I got here. And wow, what a great story for the young fella coming from that to now being a hurricane. Whereas in the loose forwards, there's quite a few changes going on. So Gareth Evans, as I've said before, has returns to the Highlanders, um, and Via Fafita has moved away to the Wasps in England. So Caleb Delaney has come in from Wellington. Um, I'm excited to see how he goes. Don't really know much about him again, so very, very intrigued about the young fella. Um, Blake Gibson, his last act for the Blues was to score a try to win them the Super Rugby Trans-Tasman Tournament. He's now come to the Hurricanes, and I think he's going to be a great pilferer for the Hurricanes. He's going to win them a lot of ruck ball. TK Howden and Tyler Lobsher, both from Manawatu, are quite exciting prospects as well. I think we could see Howden, as a matter, as a matter of fact, rather, um, in a black jersey. We now move down to the halfback. So Luke Campbell has gone to Narbonne in France, which... Um, to be honest, I think is good for the team again. And uh, Jonathan Tomatieni has gone to Moana Pacifica um, as he has now been capped for Samoa and wants to kind of rep his um, heritage, I believe. TJ Pedanara has then come back in from the NTT Red Hurricanes over in Japan. Um, Jamie Booth is expected to come back from injury this season, whereas uh, Cam Roygaard has been promoted to the full squad. I think he's got a fair bit of promise on his side. We now move over to the first fives, and <sighs> is, I guess, the only reaction I can display to you guys. 
Um, Jackson Garden Bishop is going to return from injury, and uh, Aiden Morgan, who is very promising, has been promoted from Wellington into the Hurricanes. He's real promising as well. But why is there not a third choice? Why? I don't understand it. Like, sure, Ruben Love can cover 10, but I'm preferring Ruben Love at fullback. Please tell me this is not the Bowden Barrett situation all over again. Over to the uh, midfield. So we've got uh, Balin Sullivan coming in from the Chiefs. I'm expecting Balin Sullivan to have some outstanding impact in this Hurricanes team. His style of play is going to work very well with theirs. Um, and Tihorangi Walden, who is the captain for Taranaki in the NPC, um, he used to play for the Highlanders but did not play any Super Rugby last year due to injury, and now he's come on into the Hurricanes, which was his apparently uh, childhood favourite team, so hey, that's really cool for him, and I wish him all the best for this season. Then um, the players who are going along from the backs, um, so Solomon Hickey's moved to the Crusaders, whereas uh, Auburn Ledger's gone over to Japan, Vince Assel has gone to Japan, um, Danny Tawala has moved to Moana Pacifica, which has made the room for Walden, and Laomapi, who's gone to Stade Francais, has made the room for Sullivan. Over to the outside back, so Josh Morby has come on in from a short-term deal with the Highlanders. I don't believe he made it onto the field, but it's very good to see him at Super Rugby. He was one of the bright, shining lights about Southland's team in the 2021 MPC, and Lalangi Visania has gone to Moana Pacifica. They did not give that guy enough game time last year. They should be seething at the loss of Lalangi Visania, eh? Um, Ruben Love... Wow, he's going to be very good this season. He's on a full contract again. So, over to my prediction of the first choice team. Um, this is going to be very interesting, very mixed in comparison to the 2021 season, this 2022 one. So, I think uh, Pauldy Rakiti Stones is going to be the first choice loose head prop. Um, he was just outstanding for Hawke's Bay through 2021. He was lasting deep into the 70s in terms of minutes played every test. Game, rather. Um, I then think um, Asafo Almoa will be starting at the number two jersey a fair bit. Fozzie will want Asafo Almoa to get as much game time as possible because I've said it many a time before, Dane Coles is really halting his development. For whatever reason, Dane Coles seems to play more for the All Blacks every year than the Hurricanes as well. Um, Tyrell Lomax, I think we'll continue to see him in the number three jersey. At this stage, though, I'd say I'd prefer Alex Fiedow. Um, I then go to the locks. Dominic Bird is easily going to be the number four. He's a giant. He's the tallest All Black to ever play a test. And uh, James Blackwell is likely going to be his partner for the Hurricanes as they partners each other for Wellington too. Um, Devin Flanders, who um, I played with at Havelock North Rugby, probably doesn't remember me though. <laughs> um, he'll probably be at number six. Um, Devin's bulked up massively and um, he's just turned into a beast of a man. Um, Blake Gibson, I believe, will take over the number seven shirt from Duplessis Karifi, who I found to give away too many penalties last year. Artie Savia, I believe as well, will remain the captain from number eight. Um, I'd like to see TJ Petanara come back in at nine. Maybe a bit of super rugby is what he needs to kind of get his mojo back. He's kind of failing to fire right now. Um, I do believe Jackson Garden Bishop at this stage will remain as the first choice first five. For whatever reason, though, I get the feeling they're going to play Ruben Love out of position um, if Garden Bishop is injured. Um, I think Celesi Rayasi might uh, take over the number 11 jersey as well. Um, he's looking very confident going to this season with this beautiful facial hair he's got going. Um, I think Peter Umanga Jensen might end up converting to the 12 jersey to make room for Balin Sullivan to form a bit of a combo. They're both hard running strike runners. I think Umanga Jensen's going to get a recall to the All Blacks and be a guy you can bring off the bench to cover both 12 and 13. Balin Sullivan as well, he's just got that speed the Hurricanes want from their centres. Not only that though, but this midfield combo isn't going to be selfish with the ball and they're going to utilise Julian and Savia outside them, who I believe will feature at number 14. Geordie Barrett's obviously going to be at 15 as well. The Hurricanes, it's kind of, yeah, like I said, it's a very, I guess, polarizing team, if you can kind of get behind the expression I'm trying to bring out. Like, they could go really well, or they could go really badly. 
I just don't know how they're going to go this season. I want you in the comments though to let me know what you think. Please like the video as well. After you leave the comment, click the big red button to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't ever miss a new video. As I said before, can't wait for you to read the article version of this video on our brand new website. I am also present on Instagram, over 12,000 followers. We have a Discord server for the Black Jersey as well. And I've got a Patreon and a subscribe star. If you're ever keen to make a small donation to help me keep things running and keep it in order, it's your boy Max hosting the Black Jersey. Thank you for coming to the video and I'll see you later.